Uh, tell us more about yourself. So you've got three films that played tonight. How many have you made? Uh, how many have you made? Uh, I took my first media degree in the 90s already, but I ended up doing uh, web editing for 10 years or more. I'm new to web, that's kind of my background. Um, as kind of always part time artist, I'm doing video art and uh, photography. And so I just graduated. But I always knew what I really want to do, I suppose so. So I took my master studies in film school in Edinburgh, and all these three films are my string work. Like the Dust Thinking, The Young Couple on the Hills, it was my very first uh, directed work with the trained actors in it. I have done like the order and love things, but uh, this is the Time of your life, you want to do, just need to do what you really want to do. That. So I'm kind of starting out now, really. <laughs> Is it easier working with professional actors? Did you get them to do what you wanted to do, or did you find it? Have you worked with non actors before? You know, did, you, did you manipulate them? Or with actors, was it like they wanted to put themselves in? Well, that's, that sort of film, I have no idea what to do with that, to be honest. But the thing that they were uncomfortable, it kind of paid off. And I have used that later when I get more practice. Like, um, I could play around, and not, but I try, of course, with respect and everything. But since you learn all the tricks for directing, you just want to play around and try all of those. The, with these films, you have a chance to experiment with uh, lots of different techniques because, you know, obviously all the short films, you know. Do you have any plans to make a, a long with a uh, feature and, you know, use what you've learned from these three films? Yeah, um, so I'm in post-production stage with my first feature documentary, Maria Evelina. And so it's almost done, it's been a five-year project. I have shot that for myself, so yeah, I'm going to be there around and so I have no plans for fiction intellect yet. I love short forms and I'm available, you know, for, I would do even like commercials just to enjoy the short format and yeah. There was a slight mix-up with the running board. I said living room for the first one, but that was the second one, so I apologize for that. But the first film that came on, um, it seems to be about a young guy kind of encountering possibly a version of himself. Could you maybe elaborate more on the theme of that first film? Uh, the most work was to, re to get the script around and no one was happy beside myself for the story so yet. <laughs> There's a lot of things uh, you want to get through, but I think it's up to audience if it's time traveling or if it's just a different dimension of yourself or... Yeah, I wanted to... There's an art school in Edinburgh. You see that all young art students trying to break through and you have to decide if you're doing commercial art or what you really want to do. Um, so the story is supposed to be that you meet yourself like 30 years later and are you happy what you have become or not? Because the, the man seemed quite miserable, didn't he really? Yeah. Very nice to, to himself. To be nice to himself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the old guy was doing really well. He was, uh, my story is that he's selling really well his art, but it was uh, like um, experimental and abstract art. But uh, So you can try to figure out which way I think if you should be commercial or not. But Clearly you're following your passions and your heart. Thing. You've not lost your soul yet. You're not going to sell out. I wouldn't lose my soul by doing a few commercials, really. It's uh, if you can do what you, your style, and 
of course, it's. Um, I'm sure you can recognize the slow going, nudic kind of less dialogue, the better. That's that's my thing so far. Well, thank you for coming along tonight. So late, and it's been nice meeting you and for watching your film. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.